right, it's John Coast Miss R and D Automotive Machine again. Today we're going to be looking at a Volkswagen 1.8i, which is the turbo model, and we're going to be resurfacing the head on our resurfacer. This is the five valve cylinder head that you'll find on the Volkswagen Bug, the new Beetle, and also I believe on the A4 Audi, and also on the Passat. It's a real nice little piece because it has five valves per cylinder so it breathes quite well. One of the problems we find with these though is we have to uh, change the timing belt on this at a regular interval because if we don't we have a lot of bent valves which is what happened on this one here. We're just going to resurface this just to renew the uh, surface so that we have a good bite surface for the gasket. So let's get started. Well we've taken about two thousandths off this head and as you can kind of see, we still have some low spots. Cleaned up most of the way. But we do have a spot right here, around here, and again over here. If we don't resurface this head to uh, completely remove those, then we're going to have a severe problem with the cylinder head gasket sealing. So we'll take another couple thousand and see if we can't clean this up. Now we can see that we've got a nice clean surface. The last thing we want to do before we take this off the machine is to verify the surface finish and we're going to do that with a profilometer. This is our profilometer and what it will do is to measure the surface texture. It has a sapphire stylus that will make five measurements 30 thousandths long each. And we're going to be measuring in the RA or the arithmetic average to uh, find out what our surface texture is. And we'll power the thing up. And we'll hit the start button. This will take a few seconds. As you can see, the stylus is pulling back. And once it gets to the end of its run, it will come back out. And we've got a 16.1. The specification from Volkswagen on this head is 20 or better. So that means that we beat the uh, specification by four points. Well, I think that's about it on this head. If you have any questions about cylinder head reconditioning or rebuilding, please give me a call.